up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the review of the All Blacks versus Australia, the second rugby championship game, the second Bledisloe game and the All Blacks have retained the title. What an incredible performance from the world champions. They were absolutely dominant, they were outstanding, they were strong. Bowden Barrett, my boy, can you take a bow. You were absolutely genius. Scoring four tries against the Wallabies today. First ever hat trick in his career. I think it's the first ever time someone scored four tries against Australia. Um, well, definitely for New Zealand, I think. Um, what an outstanding performance. Uh, true leadership from this team. True. Uh, there was not one player in that All Black squad that had a bad game. Owen Franks getting his 100th cap and what a way to do it by beating the Aussies 40 points to 12. Really outstanding stuff. Two tries, um, not allowed to, to a knock on and, and the forward pass. Unfortunate, but those things that happen, otherwise Bowden would have had five tries. He still goes to scores to try in the exact same area. And um, yeah, let's, let's recap into this one. I mean, outstanding stuff. It started off a bit slow like last week with um, the Aussies give, giving a fight, um, giving the All Blacks a run for their money, um, having some strong moments, but it's just discipline with the Aussies. They miss, the, they knock on the ball, they lose the lineouts, the scrums at the start weren't gelling. Um, it just wasn't a strong performance from the Wallabies. At one stage, in the early days, I thought, okay, Maybe, maybe they can fight back, but unfortunately it just wasn't meant to be. David Pocock needs to take a bow. That guy was truly remarkable for the Australians. He is a true leader. He's a true athlete. He just doesn't give up. His, his, his fighting determination within that team is outstanding. He was buggered after that game. He truly was buggered. Um, he kept going. You, you, he was in the middle of everything. He had a really nasty tackle on Bowden Barrett when he scored, I think, his second try. Um, that was um, uncalled for and, in, and inappropriate. He's lucky he didn't get a card because it was quite high. But um, overall, he, he was a standout um, Aussie for me today. Kenya getting a try for the Wallabies. He played well. Also true leader, um, showing his class too. But it just wasn't meant to be for the Australians. Um, the question I think everyone's asking, is it now Checker's time to to get fired or to resign? I don't have the answers for that. Um, I think maybe, but just before the World Cup, is that a smart move? Or maybe just give them a, just over a year for a Checker to, or new coach to gel. But um, I'll leave a poll up above here and um, ask, should Checker be fired now? Um, Australia's just wasn't in a good way today. Um, second half, they just looked poor. They looked tired. Fitness levels with the Australians is definitely a problem. And it, it's sad because you don't you don't want to see um, a demolished a team get demolished like that, um, especially when both two teams on paper have great squads. But it just shows, like I said in yesterday's video with the dominance of the All Blacks, it just shows where the All Blacks are. They're on another level. They're just completely dominating world rugby at the moment. And um, it was truly remarkable outstanding what performance they did. Um, they came from, I mean, everywhere. Everywhere the All Blacks went, they were doing well. Brody Retallick is probably one of the best um, locks in the world. He was truly outstanding. The way he just stole the ball on nearly on the try line for the Aussies, then they run it back and, and go all the way for a try. It, it, it's just their defence is so brilliant, and then all of a sudden the defence turns into the attack, and the attack goes and scores a try, all within a minute. It is amazing watching this team play. Um, it was just outstanding uh, from 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 the All Blacks' point of view. And if I was Argentina and South Africa, I would be definitely shitting myself a bit. Um, as a fan I am, it's just uh, all blacks are just on another level and are rightly looking to go get the, the, uh, another rugby championship title. And bloody hell, so well deserved. I mean, that, that team is just immense and I, I don't want to repeat. 
but it was just an outstanding performance from from the the All Blacks. Uh, Sam Kane look, got injured off. I hope he's okay. Um, and also, before uh, giving credit to all these guys, Ben Smith is another outstanding player. That man on the high ball, that one catch that led to a freaking amazing movement to for a try was truly outstanding. He is such an incredible player. And like I think Justin Marshall said, the way he goes from wing into fullback is, is truly outstanding. He, he's, he, he's quick, he's strong, um, he's determined, he's a fighter. It, it, it's, it's just amazing watching that guy play. He's always been so great for the All Blacks, but he really was outstanding today. Um, keepers, that whole team was outstanding. I mean, uh, Damian McKenzie coming off from the bench had that beautiful break in the middle. That man is so quick, so, so quick. And he just completely dominates as well. It was just an incredible game. Six tries for the All Blacks today. What, five conversions for Bowden. Obviously, that one kick he got so skewed. But, I mean, five conversions, which is very good from the man. I mean, his, his place kicking isn't the strongest in the world, but he had a damn good game today. Australia getting two tries, one conversion, which was unfortunate for them. Great that they got two tries, but just un unfortunate that they couldn't score more. Um, no penalties kicked in this game, which was quite something, which you don't often see. Um, and I said in the predictions video, I think, I wanted to see tries, and we saw some amazing, amazing tries. I mean, Bowden scoring his first try in the 13th minute, then Kenya in the 29th. Then we thought, okay, we could have a game here, but then Parrot again in the 37th minute, just before half time. This was also a, re a repeat of last... Um, Last weekend, um, the, uh, the All Blacks scoring a try in, those, in the last five minutes of the first half. First five minutes of the second half, they scored again, which is truly outstanding stuff. 43rd minute, Joe Moody scoring a try. Amazing stuff. Then uh, Liam Squire scoring one in the 48th minute. And it just that was it. The All Blacks were there. They, they were just dominating, 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 dominating. Um, then Sevilla came on when Kane got injured, which was unfortunate. Then uh, Reese Hodge scored for the the Wallabies. Maybe gave could have given them a bit of hope, but they just couldn't do it. The Wallabies. The one thing I, I did pick up with the game is they have the opportunities, but they, they just seem to keep going with the forwards. Get, um, the the scrum off will just pass to. Um, the forward and they go barging in. I can't understand why they don't go out wide to the to the wings. Get the wings to score. Yes, it's going to be hard to for the for um, Bernard Foley to kick, but the man's talented enough to do it. I just I just see missed opportunities, and the same goes for when um, the South Africans play. It's just missed opportunities, and I reckon there was, there was one point, and I know they scored like off when they went from the penalty stages. But there was there was a point where the All Blacks had none, no men on on the on the on the the wing side, um, going to the the light, the far end of the tri um, the lineup line. Sorry, and uh, they had the opportunity. They the Aussies had players going along. Why didn't they quickly take the ball, pass it out, and move forward and score a try? They, they it's just missed opportunities like that. They get to the try line and then they like pause and go into like loss of memory kind of thing. And that's when Brody Ritalik and all those boys just pick up the ball and snatch it. I mean, Ritalik stole one on the ground, then he literally ripped the ball from one of the Aussies and, and he went. He is just a machine. Brody Ritalik is a machine. So it's just silly mistakes from the Aussies, bad discipline areas. Um, and, and that again, I blame the coach too, because Checker needs to have these procedures in place. After your halftime talk, the coaches chat to the boys and try and build them up and try and work out new plans. But they they seem to just get worse. I don't know if it's like just a bad prep talk between um, Checker and the boys, but they just get worse. They just don't look motivated enough to win. Obviously being down and out when the All Blacks are like three tries ahead of you, but, you know, they, 
there's no motivation within the team. And the Aussies seem to look like a bit like the Springboks were now under Alistair Kutsia. No motivation, no um, atmosphere within the team, no, no gears to get them building to try and win um, and try and capitalize on the all black errors because there was the odd error where a knock on or a loss of ball especially at the start when the all blacks are still like um, warming up kind of thing that's when they need to put on the gas and go and score tries and they just couldn't seem to do that so a lot of work for for the wallabies to to, to go back home and, and do it they've got a break this coming next weekend so hopefully they can regroup and all that stuff they're playing south africa next so I'm excited for that game, but it's going to be hard um, playing in Australia, but we, we'll see what happens. And then the All Blacks go on to Argentina. Argentina, my friends, good luck. It's going to be very, very tough. This All Black team is on fire. They are motivated. They are strong. They are determined to black them any opponent in front of them and any other player. They are truly outstanding at the moment. So yeah, so much... <sighs> To, to, to go back on but all to sum it up one could say is truly outstanding performance from the All Blacks they are on another level um, so well done Steve Hansen well done Kieran Reid and your team uh, true true legends of the game Bowden Barrett as I said silenced his critics silenced the people that were bringing him down there were a lot of people talking someone even said in the comment section here yeah, Bowden Barrett's overrated blah 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 he's not the best all that stuff well I think he shut up a lot of those people today because scoring four tries nearly five was truly outstanding and they were damn good tries obviously some were passed to give him the opportunity to get that fourth one but, I mean, the breaks, that first try, the, the, the teamwork between the two was outstanding. Bowden would see that gap and he goes straight through. He sees the gap and scores a brilliant try. Um, his brother even had a great game too, Jordy Barrett. Oh, they all had a great game, so you can't really... Bowden Barrett for me was outstanding and um, Brody Retallick was um, another gem of the game. And well done, Owen Franks, on your 100th cap and on winning this this fantastic fantastic rugby game it was truly something special so that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you can keep up to date with all future rugby videos tomorrow will be the review of south africa versus argentina in argentina um, and obviously next week we're having a break week but I'm still i'm going to attempt to do a pro 14 video and i'm going to come up with another video as well for this rugby championship to keep that electricity the vibe the atmosphere going on this channel um, it's amazing stuff we're approaching six thousand subscribers so if you're not subscribed please subscribe a lot of you guys watching this haven't subscribed so please make sure you hit that button as well as that bell icon so you can keep up to date with all future uploads Eden Park you have done it again the record still stands no one's beaten the All Blacks since 94 um, so well done to the crowd the, the players management the star what everyone truly outstanding stuff from the All Blacks and um, best of luck to you guys against Argentina best of luck to Australia against South Africa I hope it's going to be a hum dinger of a game. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.